I create YouTube videos, which bring new players to my Twitch streams. They ask questions and provide input, leading back to YouTube and more videos for you. And this is one of them. Now I have a list of the most asked questions by new players that I decided to sum up in one video. I will keep it short and straight to the point so that you can get to your ship soon. We will cover some of the simplest things in Sea of Thieves that are usually not mentioned in your learning process, unless you sail with a more experienced player. In this video, we will make a list of 5 tips for a new player to make your piracy more convenient. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Number 1. Simple as it might sound, the number of times I have seen new players carry a gunpowder barrel in the bottom deck is high. Even though I do not recommend carrying these at all, if you need it for a voyage or like the risk, store on your cruise nest, right behind the mast extension. It is not very visible there, from a distance and harder to reach. If it blew up, your mast would break and less damage will be done to the hull, which might give you some time to heal and repair. There is no way to bring a keg to your ship without the risk, but if done anyways, this is your best bet. If you want to use kegs for fighting other ships, there is a way to do that without carrying it on your ship. So stay tuned for tip number 5. Now let's say you store it in the bottom deck. Two. For a long time, the only thing you could do with a bucket is bail. But once fire was introduced to the Sea of Thieves, your pirate could set on fire too. I have seen your players either jump in the water or wait to splash each other to put out the fire. Other than the viewers that didn't know that was possible until they saw it on Twitch, as simple as it might sound, you can splash water on yourself by right-clicking on the mouse or using the LT on the controller for default keybinds. 3. In general, new players are aware of the sword charge, where you hold down the attack button to propel yourself forward. Referred to in the Sea of Thieves as the sword launch, the right way to do it is not by holding down the attack. You can jump and go much further by holding down the block before charging your sword. This way, your character can still move while charging, and if you jump right after the initial charge, you can go much further. This is useful in many situations, like going back and forth from places without standing on an edge, attacking multiple skellies or reaching players at a distance trying to escape your charge. When you get used to it, the block duration becomes so small that it's almost instant and not visible in animation that you block before charging. 4. Harpoon Lock And this time, it's the other way around. I did not know about this until later, so shout out to my viewers for pointing that out. By pressing R on the keyboard or X on the controller, you can lock the harpoon to its current state. This is very useful, especially if you are solo sloping, as that could pin you to places while you go back to the wheel to adjust your heading. Number 5. This point is a treat to help you defend your ship if being chased. It's more of a strategy than a point. Even if you are with a friend, you're probably on a sloop. You get to a point where you're being chased by a ship that doesn't want to let go and you want to protect your hard-earned treasure. So here's what you do. First, you set your heading precisely against the wind and angle your sails flat. Sloops are fastest against the wind, making whatever ship behind unable to catch up. Even if it's another sloop, it will be exactly your speed. Second, Keep an eye on a small flock of birds, as the large one is a shipwreck and we don't need that. As soon as you see one, check for floating gunpowder barrels. Take one and try and swim towards the ship behind you. Once you board them, give them a warm hug to slow them down or possibly sink them. You should only do that if against the wind, as even if you fail, assuming your path is clear of obstacles, you will still have time to go back to the ship and yes. continue sailing. In this situation, you got nothing to lose, but something to gain by slowing them down or getting rid of them. Yes. Hi, what's up, guys? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love how he fits your voice. If you learned something, please consider subscribing. My channel contains a vast library of Sea of Thieves guides for new and experienced players alike. It will help me grow. If you want an in-depth guide to make you a better pirate, check my beginner guide playlist. And for any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and happy sailing!